Hi guys, uh, I'm Dennis from Aspect Studios and uh, uh, a lot of people have been asking some things about the about how, how, how they can see which button is at the center how they can uh, set the starting button so it's not it shouldn't start from button one but from some of the other buttons and uh, I've been thinking about this and I've been collecting the questions from the people who watch the tutorials and uh, I've decided to make one new part which is part 4 uh, where I'm going to explain some things now I wrote a few notes here so the first thing is how to start from specific button that's pretty easy we just have to write here uh, public in start button which will be equal to 1 and uh, at start at the end we're going to say panel that anchored position will be equal to new vector 2 and that will be uh, start button minus 1 uh, multiplied by negative 300 and uh, for the y we're going to use 0 so uh, start button minus 1 is because I assume that you want if you want to start from button 2 you're going to type 2 if you want from button 4 you're going to type 4 and uh, since the buttons in the game controller are in array the first button is actually at element 0 that's why we are if you want to start from button 4 we have to actually start from but from element 3 so if I type 4 here and I play you can see that we start from button 4 if I type 6 and I play we start from button 6 and we can continue scrolling okay I'm going to keep that to 1 for now the next thing is uh, how to see which button is at the center now there are a couple of ways of doing this uh, I'm going to show two the first is the fastest and uh, which is at on the for loop where you check what is the smallest distance actually first you check what's the smallest distance between all of the buttons and uh, the center and then you check which distance uh, which buttons distance correspond to the smallest distance so here you can simply type debug that log uh, button which is the array which holds all of the buttons and here you can type uh, min distance that name and this should give us the name of the button that is centered uh what fourteen to existing start button if is this no what's that that log button Min button num, not not min distance. Sorry, min button num. That name. So if you go to the if we go to the game view now, and I'm going to dock the console here, you can see now it's button one. If I go here, let me clear it. It's button two. It's button one now. Button six. Button one. Now uh, uh, this. Uh, option is showing the button that have the smallest distance to the center so it's not actually which button is centered but which button have the smallest distance to the center uh, we're going to try a different approach I'm going to remove this actually I'm going to comment it out so that uh, for the other option is if we go to the lerping and uh, we're going to say just after the float new x we're going to say if new x is greater or equal to 
solution actually I'm going to type if matf that abs I'm going to copy that because I will use it a few times if matf that abs new x is greater or equal to matf abs position minus one and uh, matf abs new x is uh, less or equal to matf abs position plus one and actually I'm going to leave it like this I'm going to type debug.log uh, button main button num that name and now we should see the button that's actually centered So if I do it like this, button 3 will start uh, debugging when it's centered. So you can see that it's not debugging anything and now it starts debugging when the button is at the center. So if I start dragging and I clear it, you can see that the button has to be at the center. Now the problem here is that it should be exactly centered which takes some time because of the lerping. If you want that to happen faster, you can speed it up by increasing the uh, multiplication with the time delta time. But the problem is that it will start s uh, scrolling pretty fast. So uh, uh, right here, where I'm checking this, actually not there, here, I can actually send a message where you can check if certain button is at the center you can send a message so for this I'm going to type uh, one private boolean uh, message sent which will be false and I will use it here uh, where it checks if the if the new x is greater than position or smaller than position plus one I'm going to type and message sent message not sent then I'm going to debug that so only if the message is not sent and uh, since the message will have to be made to true we'll do it like this so once the button is centered message sent will become true so this will be executed only once so you don't send messages all the time because it will start uh, doing it every frame and uh, on the start drag I will say message sent on the start drag yes message sent equals false so when we, every time we start dragging message sent will be reset and uh, when it reaches that uh, position it will be set to true so it will send only once a message per button. Now button one, message sent. Actually, let me just uh, retype that uh, debug.log message sent like this. And now if I play, you can see message sent for button one. Now if I go to button three, message sent for button 3 if I go to button 4 message sent to button 4 another problem is that like I said it takes some time to center the button but we can easily fix that by doing something like if new x if actually if position minus new x and we're going to put that inside the uh, matf abs because we want the absolute value is less than 0 0.5 f new x uh, no, new, new x will be equal to position now this simply says if the new x if position is 300 and new x becomes 299.5 
it will snap to position so you don't have to wait for these small values to lerp and you will barely see that actually but let me check if it's actually happening hmm it doesn't ok one moment so yeah, uh, you, you just have to type a bigger value, like if you set it to 5, for example, you can see that it's going to snap when it reaches that position. Uh, there is a slight snap, but that won't hurt. Now here you will get faster execution of the message, you don't have to wait that much time. Uh, the other option is... if you put that to 4 because actually if we go uh, smaller than 5 we are going to snap so if you put that to 4 it should actually it should take the same time no the problem is with the bigger values is that you might uh, you might get a message from another button since the other buttons that are moving you can see that button 4 gets get get called now button 1 is getting called now button 2 button 6 yeah so it's working the other option is to make it uh, slightly more complicated by changing that 5 to a variable which will be set to speed up when that distance gets closer and uh, when we start dragging that uh, sliding will become sma uh, smaller again so we can actually do that by doing uh, private float lerp speed equals 5 just to make it to work so the time delta time that we will lerping will be multiplied to lerp speed and uh, when that position is smaller than 5 we're going to set lerp speed to 25 and when we start drag lerp speed will be set to 5 again so we have to reset it uh, you can use another variable just to reset it but that should do the trick for for the that should do the trick for the snapping uh, without actually having to something like that or we can set it uh, if it's smaller than 3 but for now I'm just going to make it new x to be equal to position no just that's just an, uh, one example okay you can do it in other ways I'm just showing I'm just showing something that's uh, in my mind now uh, that's for showing and for sending message to which button actually you can do it uh, for the messages you can say void send message from button uh, int button index and here you can simply type uh, instead of debugging you can type send message from button and here you will type the button index which is min button num and now we'll say if button index is equal to 3 message sent so this will send the message only if the centered button is 3 and nothing else. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 4. Nothing happens. Whoa, message sent. Actually, yeah, 3 because 3 is the fourth index. So actually it was uh, button 4. 
uh, we just have to type uh, button index minus one equals three okay that's for sending the messages send message once we got it by message sent we use message sent to make sure that we're sending the message only one if only once if we remove the message sent we're going to send it every frame uh, go to button method now uh, some of you ask it how they can go to a certain button uh, while in play mode not just from start so we're going to type one variable here uh, which will be private bool target nearest button and it will be set to true when true it will target the it will actually lerp to the nearest button and this we're going to take it and write here just before we check which is the mean distance we're going to say if target nearest button and all of this will be set inside that if statement so something like this now if target nearest button is all is true uh, the 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 buttons will lerp to the closest button but if it's not they won't lerp so here i will type uh, one public void go to button int button index and here we'll say target nearest button equals false stop lurping to the nearest button and the uh, min button num will be equal to button index now we'll get the minimum button number and we will be equal to minimum uh, button index which will be sent from some other object and just to make sure that everything works as, as expected we have to in start dragging every time when we start dragging target nearest button will become true so every time we start dragging uh, uh, the, the scroll rect will start uh, looking for the closest button to the center to snap it now i'm going to make one button here which will be 60 by 60 i'm going to put it at the upper left corner and uh, this button let me remove the console from here this button is going to have is going to call go to button and I'm going to say 5 so when I play you can see I can drag everything is ok but if I go to for example button 1 and I oh, button 2 and I press that we're going to button 5 button 5 because button index minus 1 again uh, array starts from 0 so let me play that again now if we're at button 1 and I click it we're going to button 5 now we can continue scrolling if we're button 3 we're going to the good thing is that even if you go like this and button 5 is here it will alert back to it so you can scroll and then click and it was uh, center to to the button that you expect if I change it to 2 it will go to button 2 and uh, that's it I think I have answered most of the questions that were asked if you have some other questions please leave them in the comments below the video I will try to answer them if I have time, but I will give my best. Thanks.